Eyes show signs of heart attack, disease. The risk factors for heart disease and eye problems often overlap, implying that having an eye disease means your heart or cardiovascular system is also in trouble. The eyes are the only gateway in the body to assess the blood vessels, and their evaluation provides us with a sense of the health of the complete vascular system. This size of pupil could mean your heart is in danger. Your heart health becomes a major concern as you age, especially if you've experienced heart problems before. While standard tests can monitor your heart's condition, there are crucial signs you should look out for that may indicate an impending cardiovascular event. A groundbreaking study has discovered a surprising predictor of your risk, the size of your pupils. According to the study, heart failure patients with smaller pupils had a lower survival rate and a higher risk of being readmitted to the hospital. That suggests there is a correlation between smaller pupils and a worsening heart condition. These scientists did not randomly observe the pupils of the patients. Because the autonomic system regulates involuntary activities, doctors typically check its functionality by measuring the heart rate. However, a patient with heart failure may have an irregular heartbeat. Measuring pupil size can assist in determining how effectively the autonomic system is working because pupillary response, or how your pupils constrict or dilate in light and dark situations, is likewise controlled by the autonomic system. Patients were asked to wear goggles and spend five minutes in the dark to allow their pupils to adjust. Researchers then divided them into two groups based on their pupil size, small pupil, and large pupil. Normally, pupils should dilate in the dark, so those with smaller pupils had autonomic systems that were not functioning optimally. Researchers found that patients in the large pupil group had a 28% lower risk of dying from heart failure and an 18% lower risk of being readmitted to the hospital than those in the small pupil group, after accounting for other potential cardiac issues. The difference is significant enough to support the idea that assessing pupil size could help identify which heart failure patients require more urgent care. This provides a crucial tool for identifying at-risk patients and providing them with more immediate and effective care. It's yet another step forward in our ongoing battle against heart disease. The study suggested that patients with smaller pupils should be selected and could benefit from cardiac rehabilitation with physical activity, a proven method for improving autonomic function. So, keep a close eye on your pupils, it could save your life. Pupil size is an easy, rapid, and non-invasive measurement that could be used in daily clinical practice to predict prognosis in patients with heart failure. Sudden changes in vision. A blockage in a blood vessel in the eye may cause sudden changes in vision, such as blurriness, black spots, or shadows, which may be a sign of a more catastrophic brain stroke. Additionally, mounting research suggests that early, subdued damage to the eye's tiny blood vessels may be a sign of cardiovascular disease. Blurry vision and chest pain. Visual disturbances, like blurred vision, that occurs alongside chest pain can be a sign of extremely high blood pressure, heart attack, or stroke. These are all medical emergencies that need urgent attention. Pupils that constrict and dilate with the heartbeat, Lindolfi's sign. Lindolfi's sign is an eye phenomenon that is rarely documented. It refers to the synchronous dilation and constriction of the pupils with each heartbeat. When the aortic valve of the heart fails to close tightly, small amounts of blood leak back into the heart instead of being pumped into the body, leading to a condition known as aortic regurgitation. The most typical symptoms are fatigue and shortness of breath. Individuals with severe aortic regurgitation often experience a wide pulse pressure, which means a significant difference between their systolic and diastolic blood pressure readings, unlike those with healthy hearts. This condition can be reflected in pulsations of the pupil, which respond to large pressure fluctuations. Eye swelling and heart failure. Pay attention if you experience persistently swollen eyes, especially in the morning. This symptom is often associated with kidney disease, and the possibility of it being a result of heart disease is frequently ignored. Heart failure reduces the heart's ability to pump blood, resulting in fluid accumulation in body tissues. When fluid gathers in the eyes, it can cause swelling, raised pressure, and damage to the optic nerve and blood vessels. Yellow bumps around the eyes, xanthelasmas. Yellowish bumps called xanthelasmas can appear on or around the eyelids, under the skin, and particularly near the nose. They can indicate high levels of cholesterol or other fats in the blood. Women are more commonly affected. Xanthelasmas can be a cosmetic issue, but individuals with a family history of early heart disease should inform their doctor and get a cholesterol test. Retinal changes indicate heart health. Small blood vessels that supply blood to the retina at the back of the eye get damaged due to chronic health conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. 
This damage can cause diabetic retinopathy or blockage of the retinal artery. These patients need further testing, including ultrasounds of the neck to check for a buildup of fatty plaque inside the carotid arteries and of the heart to check for blood clots. Retina photos can also predict a person's risk of heart attack or stroke by analyzing subtle changes with machine learning in a person's health data. Eye floaters and heart disease. Occasionally, an increase in floaters may signal an eye disorder known as retinal vein occlusion, which is associated with heart disease. Macular edema. Diabetes harms the small blood vessels in the eyes. The body compensates by making new blood vessels. Unfortunately, these new vessels are fragile and can seep into the surrounding eye tissue. This can result in a condition known as diabetic macular edema, where the central part of the retina, macula, is affected. This causes central vision loss, glare, floaters, and faded colors. Individuals with diabetic macular edema should also get their heart health assessed. So, the next time someone says, the eyes are the window to the heart and the soul, you might want to take them seriously. Thanks for watching.